Check video. this out, guys. Watch crime in the UK. Check this out. We have a robbery of a private seller. Most likely, he offered his watch online and is meeting the robber, who claims to be alleged buyer, in a coffee shop. You can see them sitting inside the shop and the thief is acting as if he would be inspecting the watch. Yeah, you can't really trust people with that, man. And there he's running away with the Rolex. That. Really sad story as on top, the victim is an older person It's an old man, he ain't got no chance. ...who has literally no chance to catch the thief. If you sell your watch privately, please make sure to do so in a safe environment and maybe better... Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. You're meeting up with a young guy who looked like a child. I mean, I mean, I know you're an old man and it's not like back in the old days. You can't trust people anymore. ...friend with you. Look at that. Even opposite gender, you can't trust them. Even opposite gender are robbing watches. I mean, it's crazy out here in the UK. The watch crime is... In the next video, Look we can these see guys. the two bad guys approaching a small Look at these guys, space. you can just tell they're bad news just by looking at them. Just by looking at them, you can tell they're bad news, bro. And shortly after, they are inside trying to steal the watch of that businessman. Most of likely, course, of course, jealous people. They must have spotted jealous, the watch broke earlier people. and followed the victim to his office location. Yeah, that's what they do. They target you, bro. They follow you and then they rob you. Mm. Not much he can do at this time besides handing over his watch look, to look, prevent trying to do, steal his shoe or something further like. injuries. <laughs> look at that. Look at that strangling him. The thieves look, were leaving for dead. You see that? Throw him on the floor like he's a piece of trash. That's how they treat you. But we're supposed to like poor people, right? Well, poor people are good people according to the socialists. Look what they do, bro. They're jealous hearted people. I don't like poor people, man. Oh, not all poor people are bad. Yeah, but a lot of you don't know, though. You don't know who's good and who's bad. These are jealous hearted people. That's why I say just get out of the UK, man. The UK is full of jealous hearted people. Full of pieces of shit. People who can't make no money, so they go and steal from the man who's better than them. That's jealousy, bro. All criminals are jealous because they can't do it themselves. If they could do it themselves, they would do it. We're actually not able to... All that just to steal it. How much is that worth? And who the hell wants a Rolex without boxing papers anyway? You know, like, who's buying this shit? Obviously, it's stolen. Because if I buy a Rolex... I'm getting the box and I'm getting the papers. Who's buying a Rolex just, uh, you know, by itself? Who the hell is buying that? I wouldn't buy, I wouldn't touch that. But that's the thing, it's like, uh, I don't know who they're selling it to, other criminals? Probably some roadman, or I don't know who they're selling it to, but for me personally, I wouldn't touch a Rolex without box and papers because it's either fake or, or, it's, or it's stolen. Open the clasp and rip the watch Look off at that. the wrist. Look at that. Just really rip it off the wrist. To see this. No regard for the watch. No regard for the human being. These are the scum of the earth, man. Absolute scum of the earth. Look, he shook up. You can see that. But he's not too badly hurt. He'll recover from it. But that's the thing. You have to pretend that you can't afford a Rolex. You have to pretend, oh, I'm too poor to afford a Rolex nowadays, even if you can't afford The one. third video shows a robbery in a barber shop. Again, I... I think this one is in Birmingham, right? ...could imagine look the bad guy spotted out. the watch earlier, look at, look at or somehow doing. got in contact with the victim prior to the event. Of course, of course he knew who he was. Wouldn't just go in there and, you know, you wouldn't know he has a Rolex. Otherwise, very unlikely someone would randomly enter the store and check for the watch. Look. Give me your watch. Of course. Look, he's still cutting his hair. <laughs> he's still cutting his hair, bro. Like, look at this shit. Look, look at that big blade. And the other guy. The look, guy. Why do you need two blades? You guys are cowards. It's fully correct. Directly you guys are nothing but broke ass cowards, man. Get your own money. Ending over his watch since those thieves are heavily armed. Yeah, you're defenseless. What can you do about it? What can you do about it? A guy comes in there with a blade, a big blade, telling you give me the watch, what are you supposed to do, say no? 
and then what happens? The broadcast, jealous hearted people, that's what they are, jealous, because they can't make the money themselves. They're losers, they're bottom of the food chain, they're peasants. Let them stay in jail for the rest of their life. Why do they let these people out? These people shouldn't even be on the earth. But they'll go to jail, they'll come out and they'll go back to it because they now, can't compete. That's the real issue. Now we come to the more organized robberies. This is one of the most shocking videos I have seen so far. A fully secured jewelry store yeah, this one is in Paris, bro. gets robbed during daytime. So let's have a look. Daytime, you can see the time up there, 10.16 a.m. So the man comes in, opens up the door, right? Thinking that it's a genuine customer. Look. The first robot directly blocked the door with That's a firearm. I don't know if it's real or fake, but suitcase, so his partner could get inside. Still the store guy tried his best by trying to close the door, but due to the bag the first thief put in between, he wasn't able to do so. Unfortunately, no double door system like yep. most high end jewelry stores nowadays have. You should have a double door system, bro. Like, absolutely. You should have that. Also, but, no security. But they can't afford it. I mean, it's probably a, a you know, a, 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 and he's going to say there's no security, right? I mean, yeah, because they probably can't afford it. I mean, they probably can't afford all these advanced things. Security guard, as it seems. But that's the thing, the man who's poorer has more a chance to be a victim of crime because they can exploit the fact that you don't have these extra procedures in place. Look at that. Look at how they make you feel defenseless. And you are defenseless, I mean, what can you do? Two guys, heavily armed. From this moment onwards, it's probably again best to surrender and let them take what they want. You have to surrender, what else can you do? Top, you can see that at least one of them is carrying a gun. Now the brutal smash and grab starts. Yeah, smash and grab, where, do, where did we see this? What does it remind you of? GTA 5, look, look, kicking him. It reminds you of GTA 5, the first heist, when you robbed the jewelry store. And unfortunately, right. the store grab. employee must Take have received you some heavy hits as he is suffering. And, 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 and it's exhilarating to you know to play in a video game. I remember playing that. And look, they do it by design. They want crime on the streets. If they don't want crime on the streets, why the hell are they making video games where it's fun to commit crimes? Floor. Telling little kids, look, you're broke. You can go and commit crimes and make money. And that's why there's so much crime, man, because they they promote it. They promote it and GTA 6, I'm telling you guys, I've been saying this for years, that this GTA 6 is going to be more realistic, bro. And it's going to inspire a lot of people to go out there and commit crime, absolutely. You know, crime is already on the up anyway. Look at that. Leaving a man for dead on the floor, bro. They don't care about nobody. Broke, jealous people with no skills and no talent all they know how to do is steal and most of these guys end up in jail anyway they don't even know how to steal properly i'm just sick and tired of the crime man see this is happening in the western world especially the uk it's not happening in dubai it's not happening in singapore it's not happening in hong kong it's not even happening in kuala lumpur or even bangkok it's happening in the Western world, but they want to sell you, oh, it's a first world country. I don't give a shit if it's a first world country. The video continues country. with some shots from that the outside. That doesn't mean anything. And luckily, people around called the police. Just because a country is first world doesn't mean that, you know, uh, it's civilized. I mean, it's America that's supposed that, that's making all these, uh, promoting it anyway, and the media is promoting it. They're telling you that stealing watches is more lucrative than selling drugs. That's what the media is telling you. They're making all these documentaries and of course people are going to do it. Lorenzo. Because people want easy fast money. They don't have morals. See in the western world you have a lack of morals. That's why people do what they're doing. Lorenzo. Lorenzo. If you have morals you will say you know what I want a nice Rolex. I'm going to work hard and reward myself. 
that's the thing. I was going to buy two Rolexes back in, I think, 2019. But I didn't buy them. I, it would have been an easy 50 grand for me if I did because the price went up a lot during the pandemic. But I didn't want to have 50 grand of watches on me. I didn't want to go up to... I, I was like, it's not worth it because I could get robbed. I shouldn't have to think like that. That's see, we're conditioned to think that that's normal. No, that's not normal. Nobody's supposed to rob anybody. We're supposed to be able to wear a 50 grand watch on your wrist or 25 grand or 100 grand watch on your wrist and no, nothing is wrong with it. But because of the criminals in this country and in other European countries and, and the Western world in general, you have to second guess. That's not normal. People need to get that through their head. It's not normal how we're living. That's why I'm leaving. Another major reason why I'm leaving the Western world. I can't stand the crime. Lorenzo! Yeah, I don't really care about this, bro. This is kind of pointless. Wait, what does it say? Somebody try to attack the terrorist? What? Get him, get him, take him out. The chase by the police was also quite brutal, and luckily the guys got caught. Let's see it, let's see it. Police trying to block the road. Oh, sh look at what these guys are doing. Like I say, no regard. You know. Look at what they're doing, smashing up. You're getting more charges, you stupid imbecile. Absolutely moronic people, man. Smashing up people's property. This is how they are. No man is just nothing. I can't stand people like this. It all comes from jealousy. It all comes from laziness. This is happening also in Paris. I mean, I don't know too much about Paris, but I know it's happening in the UK. Probably, I think the UK might be the worst. The fifth video shows again a robbery of a jewelry store. This mm. time, a car is used to ram the front door and allow entrance for the You can see this is in the, the UK. Robbers. You can see right down there, Northamptonshire police. This is happening all over the UK. You know, all over the UK, bro. It's a big problem in the UK. Big problem. You can't wear a luxury watch no more. see that smoke system that they got look at the look at that mallet he's carrying bro like the store is equipped with a security smoke system this will not prevent the intruders from entering the store a sword, but will bro. make it very hard for them to breathe and to access and find yeah, gas them out gas them out bro high value watches as they can literally not see anything anymore inside the store these systems are now installed in most big brands. I don't know how effective it is though. Jewelry but... stores and claim the high success rate in reducing the okay, loss. that's good. That's good. I'm still amazed to see how the thieves often use high value cars and completely damage them in return to grabbing the watches. Looks like a two floor. Watches. The guy's chasing him. Who's that guy? Look at this. Could have hit those guys like they don't care they don't care about anything how much money are they really making like who's buying these stolen watches and in the last video we can see exactly a similar approach again the car will ram the front of the store to allow access and then yeah, the smash and grab I've starts seen that. smash and grab don't know where this is, but it's definitely in the UK somewhere. Not sure. Could be London, don't know. If I can get the name, I might be able to find it, but I cannot see the full name of the store. What does that say? Kenya? Or what does it say? Bang. It's got that Range Rover, the getaway vehicle. 
it's not you know this car the cars on the street like where's the police the police needs to get there pronto Fast forwarding it. Where's the police, bro? These peasants are just stealing. Look at this guy. Look at this guy on the on the right hand side. What's he doing? Recording it? That guy's not part of the operation. I don't think he may, he may be somehow. Some also, way. this story is equipped with a security but smoke it doesn't system, look like it. which unfortunately started a bit late. So initially, the thieves had some time to inspect where they could find the higher value items. How do you see it in the smoke system? You know? And with that, we have it. So guys, be careful with your watches and always have an eye open for the environment you're in. Yeah, uh, you got to be careful with your watches because there's jealous people out there who want to steal. But if you're in Dubai, if you're in, you know, uh, Singapore, other countries, you don't have to worry about that. It's down to the culture, you know, it, it, people don't have morals in the West anymore, that's the problem. In case you travel to an unknown destination that could be a risk, it might be worth to wear a lower value watch or at least to try to cover... See, now, you have to pretend that you're poor. You have to pretend that you're poor to appease poor people who are jealous of you. Is that normal? You know, that's how we're being forced to live. That's how we're being forced to live. And what does the police do? The useless police that you know what, what, they're supposed to be protecting us that's why people hate the police because the police ain't even protecting us anyway so why should i care about the police why should i respect the police i don't respect the police but your luxury watch where are the they sleeve. You know, i think it is where not are worth they risking they should be life, here but... and that's why people commit the crime because the police ain't doing nothing anyway thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye bye yeah, good video, man. Good video. It's done real, man. Hey, Chuvra, man. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want already. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you're informed every time I upload a new video.